the amount of money I probably would have like paid if they would have just allowed me to brush my teeth is crazy because you know, wake up today I could do that. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Lil TJ and you're watching Billboard News. Hi everyone, it's Catrice J here with Billboard News and we have little TJ in the building. Welcome. Good. Happy to be here. Jumping into your new album, 222, I want to know, are those angel numbers? They are angel numbers, and like, I had a situation, I feel like 222 just like, you know, it just been playing a big part of my life. Your first single off the album is Project Walls with NBA Young Boy, he's one of my favorite artists. Roaches, Project Walls, that broke, I seen all, trying to change my life, damn near tried it all. What was it like working with him? And is there anything else in the vaults we can get from you two? Um, God willingly, i definitely looking forward to, to hopefully doing some more songs with Young Boy. And I mean, I feel like it was just like, I feel like it was great. Like the reaction was amazing. I feel like that's what like a lot of people wanted to see. It's been, it's been off the charts, literally. <laughs> You performed with Ice Spice for the first time. Your Bronx sister at New York Hot 97 Summer Jam. What was that feeling like? What was it like performing with her, knowing you have that connection with her? It's crazy because I was supposed to have performed and I had missed my set. I was late. I me, mean, I was like, yo, Ice, like, yo, bring me out. We had spoke about it like before that and I wasn't sure, and I wound up just doing it. And it was trying, I ain't gonna lie, that was lit. It was kind of like one of them full circle moments, you know, being that, like, I met Ice, like, before she was, like, you know, who she is today. And to see the crowd go crazy for her for the first time in person, it was lit. 100%, I saw all the videos on social media. It looked, looked turned, I wish I was there. So, also, it's Hip Hop's 50th anniversary. You're from the Bronx. How does it feel like being a part of the legacy of like the borough of where the birthplace of hip hop was created and you're literally a part of what that city is like bringing to the table? I feel like it's just like, it's kind of still shocking to think like, like I just like think about the influence I got on kids and how people like look at me. I try to put myself in perspective of when I was younger and how I used to look at artists and think about artists. And I'd be like, damn, I do got some power. And it's like, it's a blessing. I'm honored to be the person in that position for the city. Now, speaking of blessings and switching gears a little bit, you know, you obviously had a rough situation a year ago with your shooting. How are you feeling now? What's your recovery been like a year later? I feel like I feel the best I could feel. Like, you know, my body works fine. My mind's in an all right place, you know? And my music is doing well. And I feel like trajectory for the next five years is only up. Do you feel like who you were a year ago to who you are now, do you like see any differences? I feel like I take life a little bit more serious now. I take my career a lot more serious now. I feel like I'm more appreciative, you know? When I was like in the hospital, when I had my situation, like, I remember I had woke up and I couldn't really like get out the bed or nothing. And I had like a tube in my throat and I couldn't brush my teeth. Like it was for days. And the amount of money I probably would have like paid if they would have just allowed me to brush my teeth is crazy. Cause you know, like today I could do that. Like I would have paid like to have a Sprite to get up out that bed, I'd empty my whole account. I wouldn't went into debt for 20 years just to walk up to wake up and just walk. And now everybody could do that for free. You named your new tour Beat the Odds. And you also have 22 dates. I personally didn't even realize that. Like really? Lot, I didn't even realize Yeah, thing. you got 22 dates and your album is 222. Two, two. So yeah. you have like the number two surrounding you. Yeah. What can you tell us about this new tour? The theme is gonna be like celebration. We're gonna be turning up, life is good, you know? And I just wanna like, you know, 
turn up on my fans, so that's how that's how it's gonna be. We're gonna be up, it's gonna be like the club, we're gonna be at this party, we're gonna be in the spot. I'm very excited for it. I can't wait to check it out. And switching gears. They were saying that you were shading Gunna by just putting a little emoji. Like, I thought it was funny. Do you wanna clear the air a bit about that? Yo, I promise you, I didn't even think nothing about it. I put like a glass, like ah. I put it like and I posted the charts. Cause I'm like, it was like my like little like sub, like yo stream my shit, make me number one. Uh -huh. For me, but I wasn't thinking about Gunna. Like I promise I would have, if it would have been, it could have been Favi, Polo, people I fuck with. I just put that emoji there and they ran with it, I guess, cause it was something to talk about. Definitely ran with it. Definitely yeah. something to talk about. But hopefully they can be talking about this new tour you have coming up. Yeah, still need I'm very to talk about. excited for you. Thank you so much, little TJ. Yeah. Make sure y'all check out the new album, 222, and the Beat the Odds Store coming up soon. Yeah.